afternoon everybody. Today we are going to talk about three men connected to three fruits of the spirit. The first one, Jeremiah and the fruit, gentleness. Despite the, me the men of Judah and Israel when he wanted to kill, he was still gentle and still preached the gospel. The second man, which is David, and the fruit connected to it is faithfulness. Saul always wanted to kill David. But when David had the opportunity to kill Saul and stop the hunt, he did not. He was faithful to King Saul, since King Saul was the king, and did not kill him. Next morning, he showed King Saul and showed him that even though I had the opportunity to kill him, he, he, he killed him, he did not kill him. The last one is Daniel, and is connected to self-control. When he first came into the palace of Babylon, he was supposed, they were supposed to give him meat and wine, but he self-controlled himself from food and asked for vegetable and water. Also, when he was, was fasting for 23 weeks because for Jerusalem, he fasted for 21 days without food. He, was, he also had self-control not to eat. We will let's pray that God do not, that will keep, that will have self-control, will be faithful and also be gentle. Father Lord Jesus, we pray today that you help us to be gentle, to be faithful, and to have self-control. Help us in everything we do. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Can you recite it with me? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Again, for God so loved the world that he gave to his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Good see you next time. Goodbye. Hello children. It's another time to learn from the word of God. But today, we are not going to have a Bible lesson. But what? A story. Today, it is a story time. And the title of our story is, Audu's Hand. Can you say after me? Audu's Hand. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you for another wonderful time to learn from you. Lord, we pray that you give us understand, understanding of your word today in the name of Jesus. At the end of this uh, service today. We ask God that you, you, you change our hearts in the name of Jesus. You will teach us your word and we we'll always remember in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. As I said earlier, the title of our story today is Aldo's Hand. So please be attentive and uh, open your hearts to receive from God. God bless you. story 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 once upon a time 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 there was a boy whose name was Audu and that's the boy in our story today Audu was the youngest in his family he had a sister a brother mother and father all together they were five in Audu's family their parents two siblings and how do how do was the youngest child their mother mrs musa always made sure that the house was very clean and she taught her children all of them she taught all of them what to do the elder sister was the one who always washed their dishes the younger brother I mean, the sister's brother, who is the other brother, who was the other brother to Musa, was the one fetching water while Musa was always sweeping the floor. So their mother taught them very well. They were five in the family. And Audu was the youngest. The name of Audu's father was Mr. Musa, and he was a farmer. He worked in the farm. Most of the time, his farm was very large and good. He took care of his farm very well. Mr. Musa always came home from the farm very tired. You know, if you have gone to school in the morning and you have done all sorts, you have done your work in the class, you ran, you, uh, you ran up and down during the break time, you went back to class to study again, and when you finally got home you, you became very tired 
Do you know how? You, do you remember how you always feel? So that's how Mr. Musa always felt whenever he came back from the farm. Always very tired because he worked from early morning till the sun set. But he felt well for working hard to take care of his family. And he was thankful to God for good health and strength. So when you go out and come in and you are tired today, but by the time you sleep, wake up the next morning, you are still strong. You should always remember to thank God for good health and strength. You know, God renews your strength every morning. God gives you new strength for each day. You should always remember to thank God for that. And Mr. Musa had a young son who was very helpful. In fact, if not for Audu, the work would be too much for him. So Audu was very helpful when it comes to farming. Audu liked to help his father. Children, do you also like to help your parent at home? If not, please start copying how to. Hmm? Help mommy at home, help dad. If there is anything you think you can do to help them at home, please do, even without being told. That shows you are a good girl, you are a good boy. Mr. Musa Audu's father had chickens. And the chickens interested Audu very much. Mr. Musa knew that Audu wanted to raise his own chickens. Have you seen chickens before? If you haven't, please go to Toby's house one day and tell him to show you chickens. You'll see many of them. So Mr. Musa knew that Audu wanted to raise his own chickens and so he was planning to help him get started. One day, Audu's father came to him and said, I have bought you a nice hen. And I know you will take good care of it. Audu was very happy. And he said, oh, thank you, Father. You have made me very happy. Have you felt happy before? When you wanted something and your dad just surprised you by buying it for you. So Audu was very, very happy with his new hand. Every day, Audu fed the hen and made sure she had plenty of water. Do you have chickens at home? Do you take care of them every day? Just watch Audu. And the hen kept on growing and growing bigger and bigger. Audu thought, one day, my hen will be big enough to lay eggs and have many chicks. He waited and waited. He was patient. Children, are you patient? In the last uh, three weeks, we were taught the fruit of the Spirit, and patience was one of them. Are you always patient? Or you are always in a rush? How do you want this end to become big? So he was patient and we waited. He was always feeding the hen, taking care of the hen. Finally, one day, Audu noticed that his hen could not come out as before to eat and to drink. Why? What is wrong? I hope my hen will not die, he thought to himself. And when his father noticed his fear and concern, he wasn't happy. So the father found out that something was disturbing Audu. He told him that all was well, but he needed to be patient. You know, I just talk to you about being patient. Aldo had no choice than to wait patiently for the day when the eggs will be hatched. That is when the when Aldo's end will give birth to chickens. Do you understand now? Finally, one day, when he went to check on his end, he saw a busy moving around the nest. Do you know what a nest is? A house that is built by birds. So one by one, the eggs were cracking and the little chicks were coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you counting with me? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12. Wow, 12 chickens. Oh, what a proud mother hen she was. She didn't even want Audi to come too near. Have you seen a hen that just gave birth before? That just hatched its chickens? Hey, do not want you to come there, the, the chickens. Oh. And if you dare, if you try to touch the chickens, hey, the hen will just jump and try to hurt you. So, Aldous hen gave birth to 12 chickens. Isn't that wonderful? She was going to make sure nothing happened to her little family. The hen was so proud of her children. Is there something that you want and you have been waiting, you have been working to receive it? Just be patient like Audu. You will see it. Now Audu is happy. Every day, the mother hen walked around with her chicks. She taught them how to scratch for food. She taught them to always listen to her command. Do you always listen to mommy and daddy? Let us continue to see what happens next. Because the hen told them that they might not know when danger was near. She was such a good mother. If your mommy is there, say thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Yes. The little chicks learned quickly, but there was one of them who would like to be independent. It's just like to be on its own and would not always run quickly when the mother hen called them to follow her. Run quickly, there is danger, the mother hen would say, but she thought they would learn if she kept trying to train them. Can you see that? There was one of the chickens that learned that likes to be independent doesn't like to follow instructions. I believe you are not like that. Now that you are still children, you should depend on your parents, listen to them, take instructions from them because they love you and they always want the best for you. Don't be like that independent chicken. It seems the mother hen used to sing when she sensed any danger. Do you know what I mean by danger? When something terrible is about to happen. And our children will respond. So the mother hen will say, All my children, follow me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. All my children, follow me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. So one day, Mr. Dogo, who was living nearby, was burning the bush by the side of his house. And a strong wind came up and blew the flames, the flames from the fire. Then it spread quickly through the grass where the mother hen was taking her chicks out to scratch for food. You know, they always go out every time to scratch for food. Hmm? And before long, she knew something was wrong. She smelled the smoke and heard the crackling of the fire. And quickly, she called her chicks to come to her. All my children, follow me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. All my children, follow me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. And they began to run towards her, towards their mother. You know, when you notice danger, even if your mommy or daddy is not around, what's the first thing you say? My mommy or my daddy? So, something. They were running towards their mother. The little chick who always disobeyed, first to himself, what a game, eh? This mommy will not let someone enjoy himself now, eh? She will always call to stop you only when you are enjoying yourself. I will scratch a little more time, job before I answer my mommy. Ooh, yeah, yeah, call. Ooh, yeah, yeah, nee. That's what the little chick said. Oh, the poor mother hen. She wanted to run, run home with her chicks. But there was still one naughty chick who had not come. And where was that chick? She called and called and called. Oh, my children, follow me. But there was no who ya ya from this uh, independent chick. Very stubborn. Can you imagine that? The mother was trying to protect from danger, but nowhere to be found. Very stubborn. The fire kept burning and burning and burning and burning until it burns the whole bush. 
at the time the mother hen was supposed to come home with her children she did not come home so Audu was afraid he knew something must be wrong for the mother hen used to come home on time he became worried and the whole family too were concerned hmm. we have to look for Audu's hen that was what the sister said so Audu and his father Mr. Musa went to look for the mother hen and her children and as they walked they saw one of the baby chicks lying on the ground it had been burned badly and it was dead how do just knew that the mother hen and all the other baby chicks would have been burned in the fire so how do wasn't happy at all they kept on searching they were searching they were searching and searching until they saw a big heap of something ahead of them. Audu ran ahead to see what it was. He got near and he saw the body of his nice mother hen with her wings stretched out around her. She had died in the fire. Oh, Audu was so sad. He thought, they are all gone. My poor chickens. He reached down and touched the bond mother hen. And when he did, he noticed something moving under her wings. He lifted her gently. And when he did, there were the baby chicks. Wow, the chicks were alive. They didn't die. Children, are you excited? The mother hen died while protecting her chicks. The 11 chicks who were obedient were alive. They did not die, though their mother died because she was trying to protect her chicks. Very interesting. Let us continue. Audu was sad because of the death of his wonderful and caring mother hen. He was happy that though the mother is no more, he had 11 chickens alive. But why and how did the mother hen die and the children survived? Audu was confused. Mr. Musa came and put his arm on Audu's shoulder. He tried to comfort him. He sat down with him and told him what a good mother hen she was. She had given up her life so that she could save her baby chicks. Finally, she knew she could not get away from the flames. She called her chicks under her wings saying, all oh, my children, follow me. She, she took care of them. She covered them with her own wings. She did her best to protect them. Mr. Musa also reminded Aidu Audu of one man that is more caring to mankind than the mother hen. Do you know his name? His name is Jesus Christ, the only son of God. As the mother hen was calling her children, Jesus also is calling everybody, singing passionately. All my children follow me. Mother hen died to save her children from the fire. Jesus died to save my, mankind from eternal death, hell fire, which we deserve because of our sin. Only those who listen to and heed the call of Jesus Christ, like the 11 chickens, will be saved. Jesus will forgive them of their sins and give them eternal life in heaven. I would wonder why the one baby chick did not come for safety like the others. Mr. Musa reminded Audu how they had watched the mother call the chicks and that this particular one did not always come when they, when they were called. And perhaps today, this one had decided again to go its own way and had not obeyed the mother's call. Because of this, it had lost its life. And many people today also behave like the stubborn chick. They are here to obey Jesus' call. Jesus is still saying, all my children follow me. Then Mr. Musa began to talk to Audu about how important it is to obey. It is not only important to obey parents, but also to obey God. Audu, do you believe that Jesus died because of your sin?
in order to give you life oh yes father i would say my mother hand died to give life to her baby chicks so i understand that jesus died to give me life good mr musa said but have you answered the call of jesus all my children follow me no i would reply it do you want to follow jesus now yes yeah, so i don't want to end my life the way the stubborn chick did so pray right now and thank jesus for dying for you ask him to come into your heart right and forgive your sins then thank him for eternal life how do bow this head and began to pray dear heavenly father i have been disobedient like my baby chick that died please forgive my sin and come into my life i'm ready to be your obedient child thank you for dying for me and thank you for giving me eternal life amen end of story hello children we have come to the end of the story i believe you have been blessed let us pray dear heavenly father we thank you for today's story we thank you because you have taught us a lot you've taught us about patience about obedience about the death of jesus christ lord jesus we ask that you will help us to be obedient at all times in jesus name father and our god as we understand that jesus is calling us we pray lord that the children will listen to jesus and respond who we are who are ya, and run to jesus for salvation for safety for protection and for blessing thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen let us listen to this song god bless you jesus you died upon the cross and rose again to save the lost forgive me now of all my sins come be my safe your lord and friend change my life and make it new and help me learn to live for you change my life and make it new and help me learn to live to live for you
Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a wonderful worship time. Make sure to click like down below and subscribe to this channel for many more moments with Jesus and New Covenant Church, Ife City. God bless you.